levels check and transform rotate that one we call it 14 4 on the long ones, I can get in here a little closer, and what I'm going to do is, see I can very carefully, I'm going to surgically remove this short one. Click on that one, delete. There's five, so keep count. There's one, not that one, one. Move around until your cursor highlights just a short piece. There's two. Another one, four, five. Now, if we just look at the short lines, we should see a space between every four. That's where your long lines are going to show up. So when we do the numbers, we're going to want to orient our plane so we're looking down on the top of it, right here. So we're going to have to flip it around a few times to get this, figure out which plane this is to be looking at it here. That way we can write the numbers properly on here, so it's a right hand view so you can see that. Okay, but let's, let's skip ahead a little bit. We've got this, now what do we do with this? We want to create a tool path maybe, right? Um, go to the planes and we want the DZ plane, like on equals. And let's go to tool path. And we're going to select uh, turning. And this is going to be called C-axis contour. Remember C because it revolves around Z, Z, and so C-axis contour. And I'm going to try a window. And window, everybody. Now look what it says: select appropriate approximate start point. I'm going to say we're going to start, I would say let's start on the tip of the part moving in. If, if, and that way what's going to happen is you're going to, we're going to start our cut out here, move in cutting the part and then come off as opposed to plunge in and then cut. It just seems nicer coming in this way. Uh, so I'll click on the end of one of these lines like this. I'll select OK. Then I come up here for Tool. Right click. Tool Manager. And let's go to Filter. I'm going to look for a, let's okay. try maybe a ball in mill. Or otherwise known in the catalog as a sphere end mill. You can always just call them up. Okay, so they're listed as ball end mills too. Uh, oops, let's go with none. Click the second from the left on the top row. Click OK. Activate filter. And what's the smallest we have? 31,000. So that looks like a good size. Put that up into our toolbox. Click OK. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to put the uh, in grave. What are these called? Hash marks, flashes? Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you want to call them? Lines? Increments, like you're saying. Increments? Cool. Yeah, specific. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty good. So, engraved increments. 
I notice up here, if you ever see this on your settings for like the spindle speed where the numbers are italicized, they're on an angle, that means the setting's wrong and, and this is beyond the machine's capabilities. Mm -hmm. So I'll just drop that down to something like maybe 3,000. And, and we'll come back and, and, and work with this later, of course. But uh, if you see if you see some of these windows that pop up with an italicized uh, 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 numbers, it's just to the fact that uh, the map came out as beyond the capabilities of the machine typically for uh, the default machine. So a couple important things: let's go to cut parameters. We want what do you want the compensation in? Any thoughts? We're engraving. Usually where, usually, usually, but remember we're engraving, so we want to go, we want the tool to go straight down the tool path without any deviation. So we're gonna turn this off at oh. Turn this right. off. And we're not gonna worry about leaving stock behind or anything like that. Uh, so usually with engraving it's like a it, Worry about it later, type. Like just uh, run so it once. You don't want to just keep going over it. Uh, we we can do multiple depth of cuts. Um, so here's here's uh, typically here's how it works. You've got your box, and you engage cutter comp as you're going around the outside of the box. Yeah. So when you have an engraving, when, when you have an engraving, just pick your letter, and if you had cutter comp engaged, it'd be off. What would happen is the tool would go around the part Around the geometry, so you'd be making bubble lines instead of lines. Yeah, okay. yeah, you could get creative, you know, with some artistic sort of something, playing around with some different stuff. Um, but typically, typically, if we want to engrave, we we want we want the tool, the exact center of the tool, to follow this line of geometry. So we turn. Compensation off. That way, the center of the tool will go right down the geometry, wherever you drew the line. I was thinking the the stock left behind, but I kind of figured it out in my head. Yeah, no, no, it's good. It's good. Thinking, thinking about it's good. Um. So when you want to cut it deeper, you just edit. You restart the program. You edit the Z on the. Uh, that's one way. Or that's one way. On the comp, right? No, no, opposition. Not a comp, but like the actual coordinates. Um, oh, 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 be careful. So not the part, but just the tool. You know, tool like offset. Offset, offset. Tool yeah. offset. Yes. Yes. So here our choice. Here's our choices. Here's our choices. That's good. Guess what, sir? Exactly what you want to do is kind of think ahead a little bit. So. What we could do is activate depth of cuts. And we can make a tool path to give us a couple passes. Typically, especially for one-off parts, you're gonna run, you're gonna rerun it anyways. So the other choice would be is just make a single pass. We'll we'll set the depth at like maybe three thousandths, and then you'll stick your head in the machine and you'll look at it and you go, I want to go a little deeper, so you'll change the length offset that you mentioned and just run it a little deeper. Uh, but we could we could have uh, we could we could activate this. I'll leave this off for now. On the lead in, lead out, I do want to I do want this to be active. But here's where I'll be a little bit more careful. I want to make sure there's no arcs. I want to make sure there's no arcs. If you can imagine you could probably envision already 
when it comes in to engrave on this line and it arcs in well, the tip of your part you won't see that but when it arcs out you'll get a little it actually would arc I think the other direction you'll get a little hook on the end so we want to be sure we want to be sure that uh, these, this arc area is zeroed out we don't want to mess with the length of the line at all so I want to zero out to leave out the exit side. In fact, we could just turn it off like this. Just click that exit side so it turns it off. So the geometry is what we get, nothing more, nothing less. But here, it's gonna be kind of a nice little feature. So again, we don't, we don't want to start the tool right at the material. We want a little run and start to it. And here's where we can add a little bit of that to it. I might just put, uh, Point one. No, we've been doing point two for approach, haven't we? So I'll give it point two. Okay. Linking parameters. So let's try and put these in where absolutes. And I'm gonna, just to find out where my depth is, because now remember the center of our stock is zero. We don't know exactly where, what the numbers are. So that's where this is gonna be handy. I'll go click on depth. I'll pick uh, my view here a little bit on this first one and click here. Okay, so it didn't change. What did you click on again? Sorry. Well, I, I clicked on here to see if it, uh, I'm trying to remember. Let's do this. Let's skip this part. Let's leave it like it is for a minute. This is, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, we'll, I'll come back, we'll fix that. So we'll let's just come up as it is for a moment. Um, let's go ahead and click on the green check mark. So the tip of our part is 1.02. Let's try that there. 1.02. See how that looks here. Starts okay, sort of. So mine's like you know, some weird stuff. Yeah, mine didn't come out. It's like um, engraving down, rotating while it's engraving and then doing the line and then coming out and rotate like it's weird. Yeah, I might have to cheat and go over here and see what I did from before. Got uh, C axis contour. That's my line. C axis off.
That didn't do anything to me. <clears throat> no, yeah, it didn't. Let's, uh, let's, I don't know if this is gonna, this may make a difference because it's uh, maybe doing some stop recognition on it. So what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> uh, go to levels, turn on the part wire, turn off this stuff, and I wanna take This profile and transform, translate, copy. Uh, just move it off the part a little bit and create toolpath for uh, profiling. Sometimes you have to when you're when you're working with master cam you have to pre-cut the part even though that's not part of the uh, of what you're working with. Um, select this stuff.
Yes, sir. Even recording the full thing. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm gonna uh put it up on YouTube and send it out to to you. I'll get your number, right? Yeah, I think you could. Yeah. second like it is, it just comes up with incrementals, that's okay. Uh, leave it there for a second, and click OK, and if we back plot, then you can see, what do we see? Oh, we can get out. See our tool path is right next to the uh, geometry. What do you suspect is wrong? We talked about it a minute ago. Cutter comp? Yeah, right. So go back here, go to parameters, cut parameters. See, I'm going to turn this off. Yes. And then also, since we're here, let's go to linking parameters. I'm going to let this, this is one of those times where this tool path is a little goofy to work with. But here, since this is incremental, if I put in a minus maybe three, Give me a witness mark for the first time when I cut. So it's gonna it's gonna go through and do a three cell cut on every single line. It's not just gonna be one at a time. Here's let me make it a little bit more visible for us. I'm gonna go with five like this. Regenerate, select all. Verify. Sometimes to get a really nice view of, uh, of it, I hide all the lines that, that we're not going to see, so we can actually see it work a little bit more. Um, everything's highlighted, verified. 